2020 seventh grade band award at CHS goes to a young man who has progressed tremendously throughout the entire school year in every area of performance. Every day I had to almost force him to, to case his flute and go to the next class. Positive stubbornness and a joy to teach and work with. Keelan Elder. This year's seventh grade art award goes to Avani Jane for her outstanding work in visual arts. She has all the qualities of a great art student, putting effort into everything she does, thinking through each project, and giving attention to every detail. She always goes above and beyond the assignment, seeking to perfect her artwork and learn new techniques, as well as spending time outside the classroom learning new skills. Avani shows outstanding promise and giftedness as an artist, and we can't wait to see what she will produce in the future. Congratulations, Avani. This year's seventh grade drama award goes to Elizabeth Harris. Elizabeth had lead roles in our productions of Annie and The Show Must Go Online and was also the most consistent member of this year's drama club. She has a beautiful voice, natural stage presence, excellent improv skills, and hilarious comic timing. We are so blessed by Elizabeth's God-given talents and can't wait to see what the future holds for her. This year's seventh grade Spanish award goes to Emma Lester. Emma has shown great excitement at learning the Spanish language um, since the beginning of the semester. She enters the classroom eager to learn. Throughout class, her eyes stay focused on the Spanish that's being spoken. She turns in exceptional work. She volunteers regularly and she goes above and beyond to learn as much of the language as she possibly can. I am extremely excited to see where she goes with the Spanish language in the future. This year, the seventh grade English award is going to a student who has demonstrated consistency, growth, exceptional diligence, and exquisite critical thinking throughout the entire year. It's been a joy to watch this student flourish in his writing and in our Harkness discussions this year, and I genuinely couldn't be more proud of him. So, congratulations to Mr. Ben Griffin. Hello, I'm Brian Evans, and I'll be presenting the seventh grade Bible Award for the school year. During the seventh grade year, uh, the students learned about the life of Jesus. We learned about Jesus' major teachings, uh, the parables that he used to teach, the miracles that he displayed, and we looked at the characteristics um, that he showed throughout his life. And these are characteristics that we as Christians should strive to emulate. The biggest four of these were meekness, zeal, compassion, and holiness. And there is one student who I think uh, embodies these um, characteristics of Jesus each and every day that they are at school, um, every day that I saw him in class, uh, in advisory, um, and on the golf course. Someone who always strove to bring the best out in others, uh, worked their hardest, never said an unkind word to anybody, and was always such a great listener and willing to, to learn from those who were older than him, uh, adults and, and students alike. Uh, a very humble individual um, who I believe there are great things in store. Um, someone who loves his classmates and loves God and is willing to show it. Someone who is willing to be a leader, uh, but a servant leader. Someone who led by working the hardest, by encouraging his classmates, and by always be willing to, uh, to work through discussions and, and, and talk and defend his faith to the fullest. I'm very proud to uh, have been his advisor this year, but I'm also very proud uh, that um, he's a fine young man and I uh, know that great things are going to be coming his way in the future. It's my pleasure to present the 7th grade Bible Award to Ben Griffin. Congratulations, Ben. Good morning, I'm Mary Neff, the middle school math teacher, and I will be presenting the 7th grade Pre-Algebra 2 Award. And this year the award goes to Ben Griffin. 
Ben, you've done a remarkable job this year. Your grade, grades have been outstanding, as well as your attitude. I really appreciate the positive attitude and the work ethic that you come to class with every day. Uh, I'm very, very proud of you. It is now my pleasure to award the seventh grade World History Award to an outstanding young woman who always turns in impeccable work and has a strong, incredible work ethic. And she also enjoys the subject of history and is a great, outstanding citizen. And I have this pleasure of awarding this seventh grade World History Award to Raleigh Guile. Congratulations, Raleigh. Hope you enjoy this award and I look forward to working with you again next year. I expect a lot out of you in Georgia history. Congratulations. Hello, this is Mr. Griffith here to present the 7th grade science award. If you were in my D-Block class, you know there was one person that stood out from the others with his curiosity, his audacity, and his impressively deep knowledge base. It was an honor to have a student that was truly teaching me consistently through the year, but that was humble enough to ask when he didn't know things. Thanks to his deep knowledge of science, we actually made a segment of class called Science Facts with Jack. Congratulations on the 7th grade science award, Jack Keats. Good morning, I'm Mary Neff, and this morning I'm going to be presenting the award for 7th grade Pre-Algebra 1. And this year the award goes to Lucy Tatum. Lucy, I'm so proud of the work that you've done to improve over the course of the school year. I, I think that you've really discovered that you have not just an aptitude for math, but your attitude is so positive, and I really, really appreciate that. I'm very proud of everything that you've done this year in, in your work to improve, uh, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do next year.